what's up everybody happy january 1st 2018 i'm in the hotel room so in my previous video i talked about doing an unboxing and doing a photo session right here in my hotel room sort of like what i've done in the past i'll take a fig unbox it set up something do a photo shoot see what happens um got my camera <clears throat> got everything else back there um i'm gonna go over a little bit of a, a, a review right quick because i have picked up some things yesterday and today so yesterday i picked up the black panther from play arts and the robocop versus terminator you want to look at it Today, I actually uh, <clears throat> went out and picked up a, uh, an adventure grip for my G7X, which is what I'm videoing on right now. So, it's going to be really cool. I've got the, the Gorilla Pods and stuff, but sometimes I like something a little bit more stable. Um, when I got off work today, <clears throat> excuse me, I went back over to... Uh, Oxford Comics because I had a change of heart. I saw this yesterday and actually uh, I love the movie <clears throat> and I'd never seen this before anywhere so I picked up Nancy. And the thing I like about this because they had Nancy and uh, Hardigan. Um, the Hardigan was pretty cool too but I like that these are black and gray. I think these would be some really cool black and whites. Uh, while I was at Oxford Comics, uh, I also picked up the Killmonger. And I'll be perfectly honest with you, <clears throat> they had them all except Submar uh, yeah, Submariner and Iron Man. Um, the Sculpts. On the Black Panther head sculpt and the uh, what the heck's her name? Nakia were phenomenal. But me personally, I like the Killmonger better. I don't know what it is. I just like the Killmonger. And <clears throat> when I went to Walmart to pick this up, I was just cruising through the uh, the, the fig aisle and noticed this just sitting on the shelf was this uh, Walmart exclusive Black Panther. So. I scanned it, it was like 15 bucks, so I picked it up. So this is pretty much it uh, for what I bought this weekend. 2017, 2018. So <clears throat> I went out pretty good, and I think I came into 2018 pretty good. So I went ahead and pre-hung the top of my gray seamless. That's what we're going to use today. Um, I'm probably going to readjust the camera a little bit here in a minute. I'm thinking for the unboxing, I really want to unbox this. But to be honest with you, the play arts, I want to do dedicated videos to all of my play arts. I thought about it. I want to do it one just for the Black Panther. I want to do one for the X Pool. I want to be dedicated to these. I don't want it to be rushed. I just want it to be a good video. <clears throat> uh, Robocop versus uh, Terminator? No. Uh, the two Black Panthers? No. I'm going with Nancy. Nancy's who we're going to unbox because I've never seen it. It comes with a little diorama, little Western doors thing. I know nothing about it. So this is what we're going to unbox. And this is what I'm going to shoot for my photos. So let me get, uh, let me get things readjusted and I'll put this stuff away. We'll come back and we'll unbox Nancy and then we'll do a photo shoot with her. So anyway, see you guys here in a few minutes. And we're back. Um, hotel tile. <clears throat> Don't know nothing about her. I know that there's not a lot of accessories. I'm a big fan of just laying a towel out when I do unboxings 
out in the field. So it's just a force of habit. First thing I'm unboxing is this thing. Because I think this right here, you know, we all, when we go um, go into the stores with our, our cameras or cell phones, um, you know, it's the, the, the Gorilla Pods I love. But sometimes the Gorilla Pod drives me crazy. And I saw this at Walmart. It's like nine bucks. So I thought, what the heck, you know? Let's, uh, and I can use it on my GoPros. Now it's a little weird because it's actually a floating handle. But I like the, I like the, the grip. And I also like the fact that you can actually, uh, because there's a lot of times I'm filming and I, I, I want to pick something up after I've, I've cut the clip. So this way I can just turn my camera off and I can pick things up, pull my camera back up. Um, I think it'd be pretty cool. You know, you can hold it straight out. Boom. Quick adjust, pretty good. No, I don't know. We'll we'll see how uh, we'll see how it works out. So there we go. The first unboxing. All right. Uh, so let's just rip right into this, this bad boy. And like I said, I don't know nothing. I've never. I don't know nothing about this these figs. And for you guys that know me, you know I buy figs primarily for photography. Um, I am getting to the point where I'm doing some uh, collecting wise, but primarily it's uh, photography related. Things that I think I can I can take some pretty good photos of. Man, I wish I had my my little wire clippies. This uh, reminds me of NECA. They really do like their uh, twist ties. And they're different colored twist ties. That's crazy. <laughs> I think this is a pretty good way to, uh, you know, start out the new year. Um, being down here for so long, you know, I don't really, I'm, I'm disconnected from my normal, my normal life. So actually being able to go out and do fig hunts and, you know, even this part, you know, doing the photographs, this is something crazy new, but it sort of gives me some normalcy, if that makes sense. Um... Hopefully the walls in here aren't that, that thin so the people, you know, the room next to me are like, who's that guy talking to? <laughs> but yeah, so I'm really hoping that uh, this right here will be, I think, it'll, I think it'll turn out pretty good. It's got a reasonably sunny day today. I'm, I'm thinking I'm going to use natural light. Um, I do have an LED light that I brought with me. I don't know if I'm going to use it or not. Wow, how that really just made me feel stupid. So let's get her out. Get her free of her plastic prison. All right, first and foremost, I don't even know what this is, but hey. Let's open it up. Let's see what it is. Might be a prize. Um, yeah, it's just other. Oh. So, looks like they got a pretty, pretty cool little wave on this. Let me fold this piece back. Maybe you guys can sort of see what the uh so that's the uh 
the figs in this wave. And they also have some things called mini 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 mates. So yeah, and it looks like they do have a uh, 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 Hardigan in color and a Marvin color, but not a Nancy in color. So anyway, so first thing it comes with, we've got this little uh, saloon style door, little pegs to uh put her feet in but enough of that let's let's look at nancy here let's let's check her out so overall um let's see we got about a nine a little less than 90 on the knee we have no uh thigh we got a thigh pivot but no hip oh yeah we do yeah we do yeah we do okay just tight okay that's cool got a decent shoulder looks like a single joint elbow bicep pivot and for the head 360 and she has pretty decent She's got an ab crunch and a chest crunch. So, there's no extra hands, just the, uh, and the only accessories are the pistols. So, there's, uh, there's Nancy. And I really dig the black and gray. I mean, it's, uh, it's got some really cool detail to it. So yeah, I just noticed, I think there's some little rubber bands around her her hands holding the pistols. So, let's get that off. <clears throat> and the uh, pistols are pretty cool too, I ivory handles. Now let's see if they, how, how well they fit. Oh, they fit great in the holster. So there's a couple of, uh, couple of options right there. So yeah, um, one more time. There she is right there. Sweet. I think this will uh I think this will work out pretty cool on the uh black and the uh the gray seamless that I brought. Let me stick her in their little saloon doors here. So that's the uh, that's her with the the diorama that it comes with, which is not bad at all. I'll probably use this for some of the uh, photos since I got gray. So anyway, um, let me let me spin the camera around here a little bit. So there's the the gray seamless that I've got taped to the headboard. I've got the pillows sort of at an angle to give me a sweeping flow with the paper. So let me. Um, let me go ahead and roll this out because I need to figure out something to hold it in place and when I come back I'll have this rolled out and we'll take some photos see you in a bit and we're back so I'm using my new grip I like it I like it a lot so anyway so I've got the room prepped as you can see got the uh the paper out and i wanted to uh sort of show you guys how my thought process was so let me spin this camera around a little bit so painter's tape taped to the top of the headboard got the pillows got a nice little art going there's nancy now holding it down Use my shaving kit, a towel, and the alarm clock out of the hotel room. So that's how uh, that's how I actually uh, got everything set up to uh, take some photos. So let me readjust, get this off of the grip, put it back on the tripod, and we'll uh, take some photos. See you in a minute. Hey, what's up, everybody? All right, so I took the I took the camera. Um, 
off the bed because I'm going to be getting on the bed and I didn't know how this would work. So I don't know how the angle is going to play out, but hey, this is going to be weird. So I definitely need to change some settings on my camera because I was out this morning taking some long exposures. Um, uh, it's, it's a couple of buildings in Atlanta called the King and Queen. So, uh, yeah. Are you ready? All right, here we go. Let's see what we can come up with. Take this off of... Uh, Get my focal points right. Uh oh. <laughs> okay. Gotta take my timer off. Gotta take my timer off. Wow. That was a. Uh, that was a rookie mistake. All right. Let's see here. That's not too terribly bad. Um, I'm sh that first shot was one two hundredth of a second, f2.8, ISO of 800. Let's drop that shutter speed down a couple of clicks. Getting in the ballpark. So, this one is at one twenty fifth of a second, 2.8. ISO 100 right out of the camera I will say this I'm not digging the uh, I'm not digging this little sling door thing so it's got to go it's got to go now the fun part is getting her to stand or any fig on this mattress and I was sitting there thinking because every time you move the bed I'm afraid she's gonna fall off or fall down so let's see if I can be ninja like yes I definitely like it better without the uh, the diorama. Let's see if I can. I could throw my 200 lens on, but I'm sort of in that that mindset of uh, I love to go out and just shoot with the lens that you bring. I've got the 200. I I might throw it on there. I don't know. We'll see. So far. Back up to 200, come down a little low. Yeah, I'm telling you, right there out of the camera, that's pretty daggum good. I'm digging it. So, I'll tell you what I'm gonna do just so I can get more of me in the frame, I am gonna grab my 200. I'm gonna throw it on. And I'll come back because that way I can get back here off the edge of the bed. I can readjust this camera and uh, we'll see what we can do. So give me a second or two and I'll be right back as quick as you can snap your fingers. <laughs> Told you. Snap your fingers. I'm back. Uh, so got my 200 on. Um, I'm going to adjust my settings a little bit because different lens. Let's see what we can do. That's not bad. That's not bad at all, guys. What do you think? Nice. All right. Come over here. Little front on action. 
And since the light's coming in, the natural light is flowing right here, it's actually uh, working out pretty good. I'm, I'm digging it. They can see my big old bald head. Sun reflect off of it, blind me. Sunglass warning. Yeah, I still full body. See what we got here. Yeah, there you go. Probably gonna be hard to see. Let's try a nice tight. See, see if we can get a tight head shot. There we go. That's not bad, guys. I'm telling you. So, come on. Let's see if we can. Pose her up a little different here. I'll bring her over here next to the camera and we can see her again. So let's uh let's grab one of her pistoleros and uh and what I'm gonna do too, I'll try to uh get at least a couple of these edited and uh, putting the video towards the end. That way you guys can see, see what it looks like. The only thing that's bad about this particular uh, figure is that it doesn't have necessarily a trigger finger. There's no separation on that finger right there to hold the gun. So unfortunately, it doesn't, uh, doesn't pan out too well in that situation but that's okay I can live with it it's a minor minor thing I'm not gonna get my knickers in a twist so if we took yeah that's not too bad right there Let's see if I can get her to stand up again she stood up so good the first time she probably won't stand up again oh that's not too bad Let's see what we got going on here Come on, Nancy. I had her, then I had to move that arm. Hey, we'll take it. We'll take it. Not too shabby, but I'm not gonna. I'm gonna tell you straight up. I like the guns and the holster better. To tell you the truth, I don't know why, but I do. But I do have an idea for something. Utilizing her uh, her diorama. So if we turn her a little bit, let's see here. Let's see what that looks like. I need to move it. I need to move it. There we go, make that work. That's different. Okay. I'm thinking that, uh, yeah. So, what if we 
took her. Let's see if her hands. This might be something pretty cool. Maybe. This might. And see, the thing about it is, you just, you just gotta just gotta play play with them. See what see what you like. I'm digging it. Right there. Utilize the prop. See if we can frame it in and yeah, right there, guys. So right there, frame it in. This is pretty cool. I'm gonna rotate her head in that one hand. We get this one hand. Rotate her head. See if this hand will come up. Oh. There we go. Frame that in a little bit different. We'll try to get more of that. Let's rotate her around a little bit like that. There we go. I think we're on to something, guys. I think we're on to something. Because what I'm trying to do, I think I'm doing a pretty good job of it. I'm trying to just use the, the frame of the diorama that come with her, just to sort of give you that illusion, you know, that there's a building. Um, now, what I'm real curious about is I could take some of my extreme sets, put one of those behind it as a wall piece, see how that would look so give me a give me a second or so let me uh see what i got and i'll be right back and we're back i hope that air conditioner really doesn't interfere with the video as you can see extreme sets display packs still got my gray seamless up you don't gotta take things down once you get once you get if you if you use the seamless once you get it hung just leave it up until you're absolutely done. Uh, really digging this pose, so uh, let's see what we can come up with now. Readjust myself. Yeah, there we go. I'm digging it. I'm digging it. I think we uh, might be on to something here. A little, uh, give you a little bit of uh, something else to use for a background. See how it turned out. There's the, uh, whoops, sorry about that. There's the uh, headshot. Oh man. Headshot. And full body right there. So yeah. I'm going to take, uh, take a few more, sh uh, few more shots and then I'll come back and wrap this up and go from there so 
Stick with me a little bit. I'm going to, I'm going back to my 24 to 70 lens. Just because now that I've got her on this uh, cardboard. Somebody's in the hallway. They welcome somebody back. Uh, but now that I've got my 24 to 70 on and I've got her on this cardboard, it's a little bit more stable so I can get on the bed and move around a little bit. I might have to readjust. Yeah. All right. Let's see what we can do. Need to darken that up just a tad bit. Here we go. Oh yeah, this is really cool. Getting all up on the bed, getting up close and personal. guys I'm gonna take a few more shots and then uh, I'll be back here in a second hey I'm back everybody so I hope that uh, you've enjoyed this video on uh, hotel photo shoot <laughs> um, yeah most people that do hotel photo shoots they're not with action figures but hey if you're a fig collector if you're a fig photographer boom that's what you do but now I just wanted to show you guys that you know if you're out on vacation and you know you're on at a con or something and you're gonna be there for a few days and you just cannot you know wait until you get back to your house to snap some photos and stuff you know, I mean, there's things around the hotel that you can use. Um, if you're at the beach, you can use the beach. But, you know, if it's raining one afternoon and you ain't got nothing else to do, if you've got a, a, a few things to bring with you, like like these things here, these, these display packs, they're like 12 by 12. Uh, I think a 12 by 10 for the floor. They'll, they'll pack, you know, just bring one back and one floor and you can set it up in the bathroom the wherever here on your bed and uh, you can take some photos of your figs that you get but uh, yeah so this is the first one of these in 2018 I hope you enjoyed it uh, let me know comment likes you know let me let me know what you think about it uh, but like I said I hope you enjoyed the content as always, please like and subscribe to my videos. Share my videos. Uh, if there's any ideas you want me to uh, to do uh, from a photography point of view, then uh, I'll do it if at all possible. I mean, face it, I'll set stuff up in a hotel room. I'll do anything. So, <laughs> but anyway, guys, until the next time, I'm Greg. This is Nancy from Sin City. Thank you so much for uh, coming out to uh, hang with us today, there, Nancy. Uh, but until the next time, next video, um, I'm not sure what else I'm going to do. Uh, I know work is getting ready to get really, really hectic this upcoming next two weeks. So I don't know what I'll be able to do, but um, until next time, I'm Greg with Greg Cook Toy Photography. Uh, you know, I'll see you next time. Later, guys.